Setting up a regatta is as simple as dropping a starting line and a couple of marks to change this 3D replay from just a bunch of boats sailing around to a race. You need to set up the regatta to identify your fleet and to access the race queue's analytics. The first step is to enter the proper name of the regatta. It's important that you use the name in the sailing instructions because these race queues replays are crowdsourced, just like Wikipedia. Crowdsourcing is when someone creates something on the internet and other people can use it and change it as they need to. So don't be surprised if you open up your replay and someone's already set it up for you. To define your fleet, you should create some divisions. You can also choose the closest avatar available if you don't see your exact boat here. The first 35s had their start at 1445. So I need to create a start finish line in this case. And it will appear in your replay. Like it says, just drag and drop the start line or click to edit. It's important to make the starting line wide enough that all of the boats in the division or fleet cross the line. If they don't cross the line, for example, they sail around the outside, they're not going to be included in your fleet rankings or in the analytics. Once I drop the starting line, you'll see that it shows up here in the timeline, right at 1445. Now I want to drop a mark. So, what I'm going to do is zoom out and then head to the point in the timeline where I can see they went around the windward mark. You want to make sure that you have your track turned on, your GPS track, which is here. I make sure that it's on full track and that way I can see where all the boats went. It's pretty obvious where to put the mark. It was a single mark, so we can edit it by clicking on it and then we can simply drag it to the proper location, which is just about here. Now this was automatically added to our race course, but if it wasn't, you can add it just by clicking this arrow. I like to watch everyone sail around the windward mark just to make sure that I have it in the right place and it looks like I've done that right. So now I'm going to move down to the next mark. You can see that the boats went through a gate, so I just go back to create mark and I can drop my gate right there. Again, it's easier to navigate if you give the marks a name. I'm just gonna drag it to where I can see they went around. And that's been added to my route and also shows up on the timeline here. Next, it looks like everybody went back up and around the windward mark. I already have the windward mark entered, so all I need to do is to add it to my route. And then we went across the start finish line and completed the race. There's lots of other things to learn about, like how to use the fleet rankings, how to use the analytics here, and how to create separate divisions and multiple starts. But for that, you'll need to watch the next videos in our tutorial series. Happy sailing!